Bonefish flies come in about every form imaginable. Despite this, a hot leg scotch is still about as deadly as they get in the Bahamas, Mexico, and elsewhere, and not just for bones. Here's how I like to tie this easy but super effective fly. Position your thread at about the one third position on your hook. I go a little bit less since I like a smaller head on my gotchas that are 4 and smaller. This is a size 4. After this, twist your thread clockwise and make a small bump with your thread by forming a little thread pyramid with your wraps. Grab your eyes, here I'm using large bead chain eyes, and lash them down. I like to attach them with three wraps, crisscross wraps, 360 degree wraps, and wraps around each eye. Check your eyes to make sure they're secure, and then make a few wraps if necessary. Now wrap all the way back, making sure to have thread over the entire shank. Here's how to cut your piece of mylar tubing. Take a section just over an inch long and cut the entire cord, using strong scissors if you have them. Now, pinch the center while driving your fingers in and pull the center out. This is your tailpiece. Attach your mylar by making a loop with the thread and pulling up. Do this with mylar extending up the shank to build up the body. Then, wrap your thread forward making sure to form a nice pink body. And clip any stragglers out of the way like I do here. Just adjust your tail how you like it and then cut the length to about half the shank of the hook. Now, tie in your diamond braid, starting at the eyes. Wrap about halfway down and then fold the braid back and wrap over it with thread. This is to make a nice tapered body. Fold the braid back and begin to wrap back, making a smooth and uniform thread base so that the pink will bleed through the braid when the glue is applied. Once I get to the back, I wrap around both the tail and the braid once. All you have to do now is bring the thread forward. You don't have to be as careful with the thread as you were going back. Then, wrap in front of the eyes. Wrap the braid forward with tight wraps, but start by putting decent pressure and gradually release the pressure as you move forward. This gives you a nice taper to your body. Wrap the head with three wraps, going under, behind and over, and under and over the same way, but try to distribute the braid over any remaining thread on the last one. Now tie off and cut the braid. I'll have to make the bodies first and I'm tying a bunch, so at this point I will tie off since I cover the entire body with zappy gap like you should do here. This step will give your fly a nice pink hue as you can see here. On the tail I first like to use my bodkin to make a few pokes through the mylar, then I use my fingers to separate the fibers. fly should be upside down now. I position my rubber legs below everything since I want to limit tangles and feel this helps keep them under control a little bit more. 
At this point, wrap one or two orange tipped rubber legs around the thread, making sure to match up the beginning point of the orange color, not the tips. That's important. After this, position them on top and secure them with just a few wraps. Come out your polar fiber or craft fur and measure out a section. Comb the fibers so that they're straight and cut off this section. Now come out the under fur which makes a nice dubbing. Here's what your finished piece should look like. Since I like a smaller head on my smaller gotchas, I have to be careful here. Make sure to wrap the thread as close to the eyes as possible with a loose wrap. Now, wrap under the front part of the fiber with a few wraps to cinch it down. Take a few more wraps on top and cut the fiber with some fine tip scissors that are very sharp and make sure the fiber does not pull forward. Secure the fiber down with a few more wraps and make any adjustments you might want. Next, fold some crystal flash over the thread just like you did with the rubber legs and wrap this with 3-5 to five wraps. Now, tie off and snip the thread. Snip both the flash and the rubber legs at about the length of the fiber. Finally, coat the head generously with glue or lacquer. I prefer Zapigap personally. Here's your finished fly, ready to be munched. I hope this video helps you out with your tying, and you can find more of this information on our site, toflyfish.com. I'd also love to share more, so subscribe here if you'd like to see more videos for all types of flies, fish, and techniques. Also, if you have any requests, shoot us an email from our site, 